Okay, let's start with Friday's trades, current positions, watch list for Monday, and uh, notable breakouts on Friday. So uh, the market kind of capped down and rebounded sharply, and that uh, also reflected in a lot of my current positions and in, on uh, in the stocks in my watch list. Uh, one of this was one of them was Wix, just capped down, rebounded very strongly. Now Goal, I got bought in on Friday. I would have preferred to hold them for another hold this position for another week or so. I, I really thought you know the 25 area was coming, but uh, again I got bought in. So INSY, I covered it a little bit more. Showed some weakness, never really rebounded. Uh, so I think it could go down another 50 cents a dollar this week, or actually the next week, since it's Sunday today. So let's see, UVXY, since the market rebounded, the uh, UVXY went lower. I shorted it on the opening range lows here in the 2340 area. I was using the highs as my stops, about 40 cents stop, and just sold off uh, the whole day. Uh, so Kala didn't do anything, Pola didn't do anything, Pixel works. Let's see how does this one look. Yeah, it's just holding up. So IMGN, actually it stopped me out of my position uh, from Friday. Uh, it stopped me out at 255. Went to 251 and rebounded. I kind of chased it a little bit, actually a lot. <laughs> I bought back my position. Big chase. Um, should have, should not have done it, but uh, whatever. I bought it back at 270 and using this 255 as my stop again. I really think it can go higher, obviously, since I wouldn't have bought it anyways. So let's see, CTRL um, held up. So remember, this one was really strong on Thursday when the markets were really weak. AMD just holding up here, not really doing anything again. Um, this could still be a great long setup if it keeps going sideways. GNC got stopped out. I bought it on Friday. I, I ended up losing like 11, 1200 on it. Stopped out here at 853, I think, or 854. It was a little bit of a chase setup, anyways. I really hoped that this thing would go to 10 in a straight line, but it didn't. If we can go sideways for another week, that would be nice to get another long setup. CMBX. This one I covered uh, covered my short from early, or actually from uh, two weeks ago. I covered it for a little profit, and then I tried the rebound. I'll be talking about uh, the potential bounce in this one. I tried it here in the... I bought it on the dip here, actually, 248, I think. And then it kind of stopped me out. In hindsight, it made another higher low and another higher low. But, you know, I was looking at it, it looked, looked like shit. I thought it was going to go down to sub two. And then it just rebounded late day. And I, I was really hoping for more downside on it. I was really hoping for a bounce on Monday, but it is what it is. Uh, same thing on MNTR. I bought it. Um, somewhere here, where did I buy it? 220, mid 220s or high 220s, and then it just stopped me out here and it rebounded into the close. Unfortunately, so I say chart just going sideways for now. CLVS uh, again, I'm, I'm looking to cover it at the rising 50 day or break even. Let's see, same, yeah. So my uh, entry is 62 bucks. 
I'm probably gonna use like 61 as my stop and this 54 area as my target. Now, AXDX had some news, they got approval for their bacteria test kits or whatever these things are, assays. And I thought it was really good news and this is an extremely highly shorted stock. Uh, insiders own 46% of the company and it has a 30 two percent of the float is short 36 days to cover the short float so i thought uh, with this good news and uh, the other metrics this thing could have a potentially explosive it could be a potential explosive mix but i was dead wrong on it just faded off i bought it here near the open i was looking to add uh, on the opening range highs but it never got there and then just put in a big red candle and I stopped out. Um, but this is one to keep on watch. If it sets up, it could, could be nice. So Shopify, I'm not really excited about this one. I, I actually um, shorted it like first minute after it opened and then it just kind of tanked a bit went higher and then just w went sideways for the rest of the day. You know, I wanted to be there in just in case the market would keep on selling off. Um, because these, these uh, extended stocks are prime targets when the markets are selling off after an extended run. These things can pull back sharply. But, you know, it, markets held on really well. Like the spies are almost at all time highs. IWM is a bit weaker, but still looks great. Just sitting on support in a rising uptrend. NASDAQ looks great. Biotechs are a bit weaker, but they also had big bounces on Friday. So, um, so uh, you know, I, I, I was talking about being cautious on the long side uh, on Thursday and Friday. And I don't know, the market is just really strong. Even though some uh, stocks and sectors pulled back really sharply, there were other stocks and sector, sectors just taking over. And, uh, you know, there is buying pressure. AAOI, a great earnings. Now, the real entry would have been on the pre-announcement here. This is, this is probably one of the trades I regret most of uh, not taking this year. Because, you know, even a few thousand shares back on this day or probably I would probably have bought more but than a few thousand shares but even a few thousand shares would have added up pretty nicely so buying it opening range highs on Friday was nah, a little bit of a chase even though it can very easily go to 60 or something the earnings such a super guidance is enormous and just could keep going UCTT same thing pre-announcement day was the day to buy it uh, again, I, I bought it on Thursday, lost a bit of money on it because it actually looked really shit at one point in the day. I was about to take out the lows of the day and then on Friday I just took out these highs. I bought it using this the Thursday lows as my stop. can keep going, the high teens or something. NVIDIA, there was no reason for me to trade it at all. Just I don't know. I tried to short it a couple of times and just pissed away money. There was really no setup there. I was just randomly shorting it. Just 2,500 pissed away. MTR I talked about. Square had some great earnings. Recent IPO, range break. Um, I'm, I'm kind of keeping an eye on it. It looks good. Maybe if it takes out the Thursday highs and then use like a 50 cent stop. Could be good. Okay, so those were the trades and positions. Let's look at the watch list. So Dries, Kalani has sold. Um, I think they have sold a quarter or 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 a third, or what they of what they are going to sell. So they gave them 24 months. They've already sold like a third or a quarter in like four or five sessions. Uh, they're very aggressive in selling, which reflects in the chart. And I, I think it could go down even more. I think this thing belongs to... I, I think when if they keep selling as aggressively as they have, 
done last week or this week since it's Sunday. Um, I think this thing goes to sub one. So I'm actually looking for short in this thing, maybe below this 213 area and then use this 245, 250 area as my stop. Mm, the borrow is probably really expensive, so I'll see about that one. Now Tesla, I'm looking for any kind of pops to this low 260 area, the initial potential short in it. Nvidia pops to maybe 105 area, 104, 105 area to initiate the short. CLF maybe this 11, low mid 11 area. Malsi, this is kind of straight up. Um, hopefully it keeps going higher to 100 plus, but again, I always like to have both longs and shorts. Um, so this is another little bit extended, starting to get extended from the moving averages, which means it's getting vulnerable for a pullback. And Chio, the same thing. Just keeping an eye on these. I don't think they're there yet, but um, it's always nice to keep them a watch in case the market gets shaky again. These things can give back, you know, a week, two, three weeks of uh, upside in a few days. So looking at long watch list of BIOC, microcap looks starting to build a range here over this 218 area. Preferably go sideways a few more days. Or, uh, nah, it doesn't look special, but if it has a big volume breakout from this range, could be interesting. Salt. Well, most of these setups need at least two, three days to, uh, to be great, but some of them are pretty good looking already. Again, most of these are just hold, have held up from the Thursday sell-off really nicely. Most of these didn't even go down on Thursday. So they look kind of these. Now this one is not a traditional setup for me, but I think if it breaks this 980 area, I could use like a 30 cent stop potential. This thing could go to 11, 12 very easily. Super beaten down. Let's look at the weekly chart. Just why can't it go to 11, 12? Could very easy to do it. INAP, uh, probably gonna set an alert on it. This one is just really thin. This one looks good with this 125, 124 area, preferably a few more days, but it just looks really good. Very easy to go to 150, two bucks once it gets going. This one, another OTC, I think it's a paid pump or something. But uh, more weakness, uh, like gap down, washout on Monday to this high mid ones could, could have a nice 50 cent rebound intraday. So looking for that. Um, and TR, not really looking for a bounce anymore. It already bounced from the support area here. Um, maybe look for a re-short entry if it gets to low mid threes. EMES missed the short on Wednesday, no, on Thursday. Now I'm looking for a potential bounce setup on this 50 day rising moving average area. CMBX also already bounced. If you can get back to four area, maybe a reshort there. It's still already just setting an alert on it, uh, an alert on it. And this one, uh, I may buy it at the open. They had some good news. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be a sell the new scenario, but this is already so exp extended. But who knows, you know, it could surprise. So if I can find a very, very low risk setup, that would be awesome. Okay, so let's look at the breakouts on Friday. They had an upgrade, very beaten down recent biotech IPO, very thin. Had some earnings, high short interest. Had some earnings, high short interest, really nice little multi-month lag break. Uh, they had some really good earnings, nice little breakout. I may actually buy it over that uh, 
41 area. Uh, they had decent uh, earnings, just really didn't do much. Still inside of this range, which, which isn't really a sign of strength. This thing tried to break out, not really a great setup. Just add some volume, could keep going. Uh, I don't know why I have this. This one, ah, not really a great setup. Another earnings breakout. This one got added to the S&P 500. Usually not much follow through on those scans. Other earnings, earnings. URA, I missed this one. Um, I covered everything on Friday, or well, my last shares on Friday, as you know. There actually was a long setup here, uh, intraday. For this thing very easy to bounce back to like mid 17s or maybe even 80 bucks. Um, may even be a dip buy. Hmm. You know what? If the overall market gaps down and re um, and well, I don't know if it's gonna rebound, but if it gaps down, I may, I may I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe I can dip buy it in the 1650s or something, and then use like a I don't know 30, 40 50 cent, no, 30 40 cent stop. Uh, this things this thing had a re uh, really good earnings. It extended. They took out the range here and could keep going. Wish you are tried to break out but kind of fell back into the range. This thing has earnings in a few days but looks good. Um, this one had a great uh, long setup opening range highs here. I just missed it because I had so many other things to look at. I was really hoping to for this thing to touch the 50 day. Uh, this one tried to break out, reverse the end of day. So it doesn't look really good. This one I already in. OREX tried to bounce a bit. Okay, so that's it.